you've probably just watched one of two short films that I made this year about the Gaywood River, a rare and valuable chalk stream in northwest Norfolk. The second of those two films was an update on the first. During the summer, things were actually looking a lot better for the river. There was reasonably clear water, there was good growth on the banks and in the stream, and there were even a few fish appearing. Not many, but a few. Unfortunately, since then, things have taken a turn again for the even worse. As is their mission in life, the Internal Drainage Board turned up in August to carry out their regime of fenland drain maintenance on this chalk stream, cutting and pulling out the vegetation and disturbing huge quantities of very fine silt, which quickly coats the gills of native brown trout and effectively suffocates them. Dozens of fish were killed in this incident alone, which was reported to the Environment Agency, who passed on the concern to the Drainage Board, whose response was that they were simply carrying out standard procedures for Fenland water courses, and that what killed the fish was poor water quality because of the silt disturbance, and that that was a matter for the Environment Agency. You really couldn't make it up. Flail mowing of the steep banks of the stream destroys habitats for plants and wildlife, including the water vole. Plants in the river help capture some of the nutrients, which testing has shown to be way over what should be considered acceptable for a chalk stream. Remove the plants, disturb the silt, and suddenly you have a surge in phosphate levels, which leads to fungal growth, which coats and damages any remaining plants and most river life. This regime simply isn't working, and yet the schedule has been drawn up to repeat the exercise again this summer. This year, a group of concerned but crucially independent local people have come together to speak up for the river, for its catchment and its wildlife. You'll find them at gaywoodriverrevival.org.